Thank you, Holy Spirit. Oh, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Shada basata la baka si papa la la. Ela baka sata la baka sana. You are welcome. 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 Thank you, Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Thank you for your presence thank you for your presence holy ghost thank you for your presence 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 shake up by your tapasso Baba, 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 Arabata basi de 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 kabaka saka. Holy Spirit, thank you. Hmm, 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 hmm. Yes. You're welcome. 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 Thank you, Holy Spirit. Begin to begin to share right now. Begin to share right now. Share this live. Go ahead and share this live. Go ahead and share this live. Go ahead and share this live. Kumira, good to see you. Under faith, good to see you. Holy Spirit, saturate this place. Saturate this place. Saturate this place right now. In the name of Jesus. Saturate this place right now. In the mighty name of Jesus, saturate this place now. In the mighty name of Jesus, saturate their houses right now. Wherever they are, fill their houses, Holy Spirit. Fill their houses. Fill their atmospheres. In the name of Jesus, fill their atmospheres, O oh God. Oh Jesus, your presence, 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 la basata takabayata. Your presence is heaven to us. Your presence is heaven to us. Your presence, your presence, your presence, oh God, your presence. Your presence, your presence, your presence. Lagabasata la bakasayaba. 
Keda bada bari ada basa tada bari ada makap saka makata kamu. Sheba ba 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 sedele bedi ada kapaka saka ba. Raba ba 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 sedele bedi de 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 makap saya. Oh Jesus, pray, just pray, just pray, just be pray. As we are beginning our encounter, we pray. It takes the anointing of God to understand the things of God. Not only is the anointing required to proclaim the word, it is also required to understand the word, to understand what is happening in the atmosphere. So, the anointing is jewel. It is reciprocal. When God releases the anointing upon a vessel, He also anoints those that are going to hear the, that verse. It takes the prophetic spirit to understand a prophet. It takes the prophetic spirit to understand the prophet. Without that prophetic spirit within you, you will never understand the prophet. You will never. You will never. Ah, my God. Shababo se tata takabaya zoto kobahai. When Moses complained unto God and said, the pattern is too much for me to bear these people. It was a day that the children of Israel requested for meat. And it was in the midst of the wilderness. They came to Moses and they said, Look, we are tired of the manna. We are tired of the, of the bread. We also want to eat some meat. We want balanced diet. Mr. Rai, you're welcome. Provide something. We want meat. They demanded meat from Moses. And Moses was so distressed because he looked at the mixed multitude. He looked at how big the crowd was. Moses was so, so mesmerized. He was overwhelmed where he was going to get all the meat to feed such a company. Multitudes of people. And Moses went before the Lord and complained and said, the burden is too much for me. Why are you dealing with me like this? Why do you give me these people? to carry them on my bosom. Have I begotten them? There are times the prophetic becomes so hectic. This is one of the moments where a prophet goes before God to argue with the Lord. And he said, have I begotten these people? The language that Moses was using was the language of frustration. No matter how anointed you are, no matter how graced you are, there are times of frustration. There are times that comes where frustration comes. You get so frustrated, left, right, and center. And the, and the language of your prayer changes. The language of your prayer, it changes altogether. Ah, shabadadadabasada. Moses began to present this matter. He said, have I begotten these people? Have I beard, have I, did I bear these people? Why are you treating me like this? They're crying for meat right now. And they are ready to stone me. They were not just crying for meat. This was a serious matter. 
they wanted meat otherwise this, there was going to be a protest which was going to resound in Moses being stoned because they yelled him accountable they yelled him accountable for this revival they said Moses this revival is solely your responsibility you brought us here for a revival you brought us here provide the meat provide the meat By Jesus. And the Bible says Moses stood before the Lord. And the Lord said to Moses, Tell these people that they are going to eat meat. They are going to have meat. Moses said to God, How are they going to have meat? Are we going to buy cattle? Are we going to buy cattle for these people? And how many cattle, how many oxen are we going to buy to feed such a multitude? And the Lord said to Moses, Moses, it seems you are not getting the point. My name is Jehovah. My name is Jehovah. My name is Jehovah. What I say, it comes to pass. What I release, it materializes. I said these people are going to eat meat. I said these people are going to eat meat. I like it when God speaks. He said until that meat comes through their nostrils, they are not just going to eat. They will eat the meat until it comes through their nostrils because they complained about the meat. Meat shall they have. Not only are they going to have meat, they are going to have it until it comes through their nostrils until they say we are tired of it i like this god he has never been a god who gives just enough when he gives he wants to do it extra he wants to exceed our limitation he has always wanted to exceed our limitations that's why the bible says he, he, he is able. Masha Babosa Tala Bahaya. He is able. If you are in a situation, this phrase on its own must bring power, must bring faith in you. He is able. He is able. He is able. Are you broke? He is able. Are you, are you believing God for a marriage? He is able. Are you believing God for a job? He is able. He is able. He is able. He's got ability. My Jesus. He is able. He is able. He is able, he is able to do. Just that I can close this this encounter he is able to do ah, yeah. he is able to do this is Ephesians 3 uh, verse 20 he is able to do I can just underline that phrase he is able to do he is able my sister you can't give up you can't let go you can't give up you can't give up the God we are talking about here he is able to do my brother, you can't let go at this point in time. You have, come, you have come so far to give up. You have come so far to let go. You have come so far to let go. The God we are preaching, the God we are proclaiming, he, he is able to do. He is able to do. Oh my God. He is able. He is able. He is able to do. He is able. I'm hearing that word. He's able. Tell them he's able. Do they know that I'm able? Kalabasata, ababo shalabasiya tapahaya. He is able to do exceeding. He is able to do exceeding, exceeding. He, he is able to do exceeding abundantly, abundantly. Underline the keywords exceeding abundantly. Oh Jesus, Ab exceeding abundantly. You can write a song exceeding abundantly, exceeding abundantly, exceeding abundantly, exceeding abundantly. The words on the, the two words 
are not talking small. Those are words that deals with big stuff. Exceeding abundantly. Exceeding abundantly. Exceeding abundantly. Ayaba satala bashiba. Holy Ghost is able. He is able to do. He is able to do exceedingly. Abundantly. 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 He is able. He is able to do exceedingly, abundantly. Aya. <laughs> exceedingly. Aya, aya, aya. Hear this. I am not talking to your, to, your, to, your, to your mind. I am talking to your spirit man. So that your spirit man can receive this word. So that this word can begin to rumble in your spirit. Whenever you are in a situation, remember exceedingly, abundantly. Ayaba. Hey Lord, exceedingly abundantly, exceedingly abundantly, exceedingly abundantly, exceedingly abundantly. Hey, he is F. He is F. He is F. He is F. To do Sheka Baba Basa, exceedingly abundantly. My brother, what is your situation? Exceedingly abundantly. My sister, what is your situation? Exceedingly abundantly is the message I have for you. Exceedingly abundantly. Exceedingly abundantly. He's not just able to, to, to take, to solve that situation. He, 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 he is a bigger God. He's bigger than that. He's bigger than that. Shaka Baha'i. La Babo Sataya Bahai. He is bigger than that. He is bigger than that. He is not just gonna give you that relationship. He wants to give you a house. He wants to give you a home. He wants to give you a home. He is not just gonna give you a job. He wants to promote you. You are promoted even right now. Before you even get your job, you are being promoted. He is able to do exceeding, abundantly, more than that we think or ask. More than that we think or ask. More than that we think or ask. According to the power, Sheka Bahaya. According to the power. There is need for power. That's why you need power. You need power. You are a child of God by power. You are a believer by power. According to the power that works in us. There is power that works within you. That has to be activated. There is power within. Oh my God. Let somebody say power within. Power within. That power within. That is the power that must be activated. If that power is not activated, you will not experience much. There is power within that has to be activated. Power within that has to be activated. The problem is that that power is dormant. That power is not activated. That is the power that resonates with the ability of God to bring about manifestation. When you see See manifestation happening in your life. It means you have managed to activate the power within. There is power within, and there is power upon, and there is power with. Mashaka Bahaya. And there is power to be, to become. Different dimensions of power. Different dimensions of power. Power within, power to become. He gave them power to become. Power to become. Power to become. They needed power to become. There is power to become. Maya. There is power to become that you need. You can't just become. There is power to become. Power to become wealth. Power to become wise. Power to become successful. You can't just succeed out of the blues. If you see success happening, you got to know someone has attained power to become. Oh, Jesus, receive power to become. Receive power to become. 
Receive power to become. I release the power over your life to become. Power to become. Power to become. He gave them power to become sons. They are not just sons by, 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 by name. They had they received power. They received power to become such. They received power to become sons. My Jesus. Receive power to become. Receive power to become. Receive power to become. Receive power to become. In the name of Jesus. Power to become married. Power to become blessed. He said, I give you power. Listen to me. Wealth does not just come. It takes power. You got to attain to power. There is a power that begins to be magnetic to wealth. There is power that begins to draw wealth to you. That begins to draw opportunities to you. That begins to draw money towards you. Money does not just come. If you see money coming into your hands, there are great battles that are fought in the spirit. If you see money coming, locating your address, battles have been fought. Battles have been fought. Battles have been fought. It doesn't just come. It, it is attracted. There has to be a magnetic power. There has to be a certain power that attracts it. Power that makes it to follow you. That makes it to look for you. Money looks for you. There is a time that money looks for you. Money begins to look for you. There is a time you look for opportunities. But there is another way. Another dimension where God blesses you and opportunities begin to knock at your door. You are on your own. Money just begin to follow you. You are on your own. Opportunities begin to follow you. Opportunities begin to follow you. Glory to God. Ah, my God. Already some of you are, are feeling something. Already some of you, there are movements that are taking place in the spirit. This is not an encounter for players. It's an encounter for people that are serious, that says, I'm tired of my situation. I need to see a change. I'm tired of how things are going. Something must change. Something must break. Oh my God. Something must shift. It's, a, it's an encounter for people that are set for greater things. Set for greater things. My God. God said to Moses, You are a prophet. You shall see whether my word will not come to pass or not. I said these people are going to eat meat. I said these people are going to eat meat. We are going to altars. This is just creating the foundation. We are moving to altars. Ah, God says you will see Moses. Whether my word shall not come to pass. I am God. I said they are going to eat meat. Don't worry about how it's going to happen. Don't worry about the process. Leave the process to me. Believe what I'm telling you. Believe my word. Leave the process to me. Leave the process. That's one thing. That's one hindrance of, of, of believing in us. This is one faith killer. We, we, we want to investigate. We want to understand the chemical component of a miracle. You will never understand the chemical component of a miracle. You will never understand. Don't waste your time trying to think how. Just believe. Just say, I take you at your word. Take him at his word. Take God as, at his word. If he says you are, you, are, you are blessed, take him as, at his word. Just say, this is what I take. The rest is history. This is what I take. I take you at your word. What you said, it shall come. Oh, hallelujah. Makaya daya. I like the confession of Mary, that virgin girl. She was told by the angel Gabriel, you are going to have a child. Aya. 
you are going to have a child and she said how is it going to be possible how is it going to happen I'm a virgin I don't know a man and Gabriel declared he said look there is something that will happen the spirit of the Lord shall come upon you the power from on high shall endure you it shall overshadow you and you shall conceive a child and the child shall be born out of you that overshadowing is called epicaizo. There is going to be an epicaizo. Epicaizo means overshadow in the power of God. You shall be subjected to another atmosphere where everything becomes possible. You shall be subjected to another atmosphere where everything is conceivable. In that atmosphere, you don't need to know a man. With or without a man, you will conceive. Because it's a place of possibility. It's an atmosphere of possibility. Sheba Baba Basaya. And Ma, Ma, um, Mary realized that I don't have to. She realized that I don't want. Uh, the details are so many. They are, the details can be so overwhelming. She said, let it be unto me according to your word. It, she said, be it unto me according to your word. Let it be unto me according to your word. My soul doth magnify the Lord. That is what she said. She said, my soul doth magnify the Lord. Let it be unto me according to your word. I may not understand what you are telling me. I may not understand the dimensions you are introducing to me. But let it be unto me according to your word. Let it be unto me. Let it be unto me according to your word. Let it be unto my family according to your word. I may not understand what you are doing. Let it be unto me according to your word. Let it be unto my finances according to your word unto my children let it be unto them according to your word Mary just realized the conclusion is to accept and embrace what God is trying to communicate let me accept let me embrace what God is trying to do let me embrace what he's doing I will not question him let it be unto me according to your word my soul doeth magnify the Lord my soul magnifies the Lord my soul magnifies the Lord. Oh Jesus. Oh Jesus. Mm. So God spoke to Moses and said, Look, Moses, you are going to see my word. And the Bible says, God commanded the wind. God commanded the wind to blow from the sea and brought the quails into the camp. This was the wind of provision. The wind of miraculous provision. The wind of the miraculous. I prophesy over your life. I prophesy over your life. Let the wind of Jehovah God blow. That same wind that blew in the wilderness and it brought them provision, brought them the quails, I pray in the name of Jesus. Let that wind begin to blow in your life and bring forth your job. Let that wind begin to blow in your life and bring forth your husband. Let that wind begin to blow right now in your life and bring forth your promotion. Let it blow in your life and bring forth your promotion. Bring forth your finances. Bring forth your healing. Let it blow. Let it blow. Let it blow in the name of Jesus. Shaka Baba Basai. Oh Jesus. La Babo Shalaba. Celebrate Yashai. The Bible says they ate the meat. And God said to Moses, You have cried that you. The burden is too much. I am going to take the spirit upon you and put it upon 70 men. Find men who are wise, of good report. Bring them. I'm taking the spirit upon you and I'll, I'll put it on the 70 men. Bible says, when the spirit that was upon Moses was released upon the man, they began to prophesy. 
they begin to prophesy I pray that you catch that prophetic spirit right now catch the prophetic spirit catch the prophetic spirit catch the prophetic spirit thank you Jesus oh my god this is just introduction let's get into altars let's get into altars are you ready for altars welcome 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 if I didn't mention you by name I'm in the spirit don't worry welcome Oh my Jesus. La ba 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 saya. Let us uh, go to first kings. Let us go to first kings. We are dealing altars now. Uh, for some of you, you did not, you missed the first session, second session on altars. Go to our YouTube channel. Connect there. We, we uploaded the, the sessions. We uploaded these encounters and edited. So you can catch up there. You can catch up. Thank you, Holy Spirit. You can catch up. Watch on our YouTube channel. You can catch up. Everything is there. Oh, my God. Get your Bible. Get your Bible. Mm. First Kings chapter 3, verse 1. I'm reading from the KJV. And Solomon made affinity with Pharaoh, king of Egypt, took Pharaoh's daughter, and brought her into the city of David until he made an end of building his own house and the house of the Lord and the war of Jerusalem around. Only people sacrificed in her places because there was no house built under the name of the Lord until the days of Solomon. And Solomon loved the Lord, walking in the statutes of David his father. Only he sacrificed and burnt offering in her places. And the king went to Gibeah to sacrifice there. He went to Gibeah to sacrifice there. For that was the great high place. A thousand burnt offerings did Solomon offer upon that altar. A thousand burnt offerings did Solomon offer on the altar. On the altar. He came on the altar in Gibeah. He offered a thousand burnt offerings. He offered a thousand burnt offerings on this altar. Oh my God. Verse 5. Many people don't understand that verse 4 and 5 are related. They are related. Verse 4 and 5 are related. Hear what verse 5 says. In Gibeon, the Lord appeared to Solomon in a dream by night and God said, ask what I shall give you. Ask what I shall give you. And Solomon said, thou have showed unto thy servant David my father great mace, according as he has walked before thee in truth and in righteousness and in uprightness of heart with thee. Thou hast kept for him this great kindness. Thou hast given him a son to sit on his throne as it is this day. And now, O Lord, my God, thou hast made your servant king instead of David, my father. And I am but a little child. I know not how to go out and come in. And thy servant is in the midst of thy people, which thou hast chosen as great people thou cannot, that cannot be numbered, nor counted for much. Give therefore thy servant understanding to heart, to judge people, that I may discern between good and bad, for who is able to judge these people, so great a people? And the speech pleased the Lord, that Solomon has asked this thing. And God said unto him, Because thou hast asked this thing, and hast not asked for, for thyself long life, neither hast thou asked the riches for thyself, nor hast asked for the life of thine enemies, but hast asked for thyself understanding to discern judgment. Behold, I have done according to thy word. Lo, I have given thee a wise and an understanding heart, so that there was none like thee before, neither after thee shall any arise like unto thee. And I have given thee that which you have not asked, both riches and honor, so there shall not be any among the kings like unto thee all, the, all, all thy days. Thank you for patience. God bless the reading of his word. So, after Solomon, is gone to Gibeon 
and he has gone to sacrifice he has gone to appear on the altar he has sacrificed a thousand burnt offerings thousand burnt offerings he sacrificed this was a mammoth task one one day i think i want to imagine by the time he finished i think he was tired imagine killing these sacrifices laying them on the altar burning them and it was not 20 it was not 30 it was a thousand burnt offerings what kind of a thing is this this man was very serious this man was very serious he wanted to provoke an ancient he wanted a response from above a thousand burnt offerings how was he doing it how did they do it one two until a thousand and it was a mammoth task it was not an easy task remember they had to lay them on the altar bend them until they are bent remove what needed to be removed and they had to do that thousand bent offerings this is a serious way of seeking the lord if you see a man in this dimension you have to know that the man is not playing the man is not playing the man wants god's attention the man is after god's attention the man wants god to respond he wants god to respond this is a serious serious way of seeking god we are talking orders those that are new we are talking orders and the bible says that very night after a thousand i think he was so exhausted i think he was tired just offering 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 the same night god appeared and said what can i give you you know that question is not asked to that that realm where god comes and say what can i give you it, it it's not a realm that opens easily i know what i'm talking about such a realm where you where god comes to you and ask you what can i do for you what is it that you want me to do for you solomon sought the lord by sacrifices he sought the lord until god had to come and ask him i have seen the desire many people don't know that the dream of solomon is linked to what he did the dream of Solomon is linked to the altar is linked to the altar is linked to the sacrifices that he did those two verses correlate they are one many people just jump to say God came to Solomon and asked him what do you want it was after he had sacrificed the thousand burnt offerings And a dream come. I was talking to you yesterday, and I said to you, there is what I call possessing your dreams. You can actually determine the kind of dreams you want to dream. Yeah? You didn't know. There is a level where you take control of your dreams. You actually order. You order dreams. Makaya basatala. You order dreams. You 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 order, you bless and order. You place an order. You are no longer a victim of random dreams. I think this is getting deeper. Do I still have you? I don't see you tapping on the screen. Are you gone? You cease to be a victim of wandering dreams. You now have control over the dreams that you dream. You now have got, you are in charge. You determine the dreams that you want. You order the dreams that you want to have. You order dreams. You act, you exactly know that you when you are going to bed, you know exactly what what you are going to encounter. You know very well that I'm going to encounter this today. You know very well. You know very, very, let me tell you brethren, we are talking spiritual matters here. And I want you to hear me. I am your prophet. Hear me. You can take control of your dreams. You can possess your dreams. You can order dreams. Solomon knew exactly what he was doing. 
There is no way after sacrificing a thousand offerings, you're going to have a nightmare. There is no way. There is no way. He knew exactly. He knew exactly that today there is going to be an encounter with the Lord. Because he had provoked the realms. He had gone deeper in the realms, seeking God's attention. He knew very well that the Lord is going to appear. He's going to appear. He's going to appear. Dreams are modeled. They are met. Dreams are possessed through an altar. Through the altar, you can take charge of your spiritual atmosphere in the house. Ah, 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 ah. My Jesus. Altars can make you to be in control of your dreams. You can be in charge of your dreams. You can order. You can have a buffet of dreams. You can actually request that God, I want to see how heaven looks. Yes, yes, I want to see how heaven looks. You don't have to die to go to heaven. You can go and come back. It's permissible. It's permissible. Many have gone there. Many have gone there. You can order dreams. And after that, the spiritual, I told you the language that is understood in the realm of the spirit is the language of sacrifice. The language that is understood, that has got power in the realms of the spirit is the language of sacrifice. That's why Jesus had to be sacrificed in order to be the the strongest voice in the spirit. Why is he the strongest name? Why did he, how did Jesus attain power? After he resurrected, he said, all power is given to me. How did, did, did Jesus just attain that power? He had, he attained that power after he had sacrificed himself. He attained power. He does not say that statement when he was living, before he was crucified. He doesn't tell anyone that all power is given to me. But after he is crucified and he has risen, he now said, all power is given. All power. He is trying to show that after the sacrificial encounter, I have attained power in the spirit such that there is no name, there is no other name given in heaven and earth that is power than the name. That name is power by sacrifice. That name attained power by sacrifice. You said you want to learn orders. So sit and listen. This is going to change you. I'm telling you, this is what I'm telling you. Uh, mm. This is what I'm teaching you. You can't hear this and remain the same. You can't hear this and remain the same. He says, oh, power is given to me. He attained power. He attained a higher rank in the spirit. The highest rank in the spirit by sacrifice. Because he was willing to go through a brutal death. A brutal, shameful death. He was willing to be the sacrifice so that he can win us back. He can win us back. Altars determines the spiritual atmosphere you carry. Altars speak. Solomon after 10,000 sacrifice, God had to come. If you want to have dreams, sometimes go on the altar and order the dreams. Tell him. I know some of you, you are asking me, what kind of man is going to marry? Your altar can help you. Go on the altar and make an order and say, God, God, show me the kind of man who is going to marry me. He will show you everything. The prophetic is activated from the altar. The prof even your eyes can open. Spiritual things are available to those that are diligent. Even your eyes can open. Solomon began to have to converse with God. We said an altar is a place where divinity interacts with humanity. 
divinity in the rats. You have to have an altar in your house. Told you that there is a place that you must just dedicate where you just know as a culture, make it a tradition. I, 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 I recommend, I say it. Do it. Make it a tradition to know there is a sacred place that you just go. Sometimes just go and kneel there as a sign before you go out of your house. Just go in a certain place and kneel. That's your altar. And when you have got your sacrifices, put them there. You have got your requests, put them there in your house. Have an altar in your house. Have, from today, have an altar in your house. Yes, have an altar. A place even when you are so discouraged. That place is already filled with the presence. That place angels are there. Even when you are tired, you feel like today has been a hectic day. You, you don't say anything. Just go on that altar and say, on my altar. Just go there. And after you stand up, you feel revived. After that, you feel revived. You have been beaten because you are living an altarless life. You have no altar. You don't have an altar. That's why they are beating you. Before they leave their houses, they appear on their altar. You, you don't appear. You just walk out like a, like a, you just walk out and just storm out of the house. Appear before that altar. Appear before that altar. Before you, be, before you begin the day, go there on that place you have dedicated to say, God, can I make this my altar? I'm not saying you're not going to pray. You can pray everywhere else. But let there be a place that you know. If I go there, this is for serious issues. This is for serious issues. Solomon offered a thousand big bench offerings. And the Lord came. You can order dreams. Go on the altar. I'm teaching you. You can order dreams. You can. You didn't know. That's why you didn't know that the spiritual is actually there is. Uh, you can provoke the spiritual using the tangible, and the, you can. Oh my God! Sometimes words they run out. They run out to, to what I want to explain. But I'll get there. I'll get there. I'll get there. God will help me. God will help me. Listen to me. Elisha. Masha Babo. Elisha. Josh, one of the kings of Israel. is called Josh. 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 One of the kings of Israel. He's called Josh. By the name Josh. He heard that Elisha was sick by his own sickness. The Bible says he was sick and was about to die. Elisha was sick and was about to die. I want to teach you something very prophetic. Elisha heard that uh, the Joash the king took his, uh, his chariots, his motorcade, his protocol, and they went to see Elisha before he died. And when he arrived, he found Elisha. And Josh began to cry. He said, my father, my father, the chariot of Israel and the horsemen thereof. He cried. He said, my father, my father. And Elisha strengthened himself. He was in pain. And Elisha said to Josh, take your bow and arrow. He said, take your bow and arrow. We are about to do the prophetic. We are about to fix your issues. Take your bow and arrow. And uh, Josh took the bow and arrow. He wondered what the prophet wanted to do. He said, come here by the window. He came by the window. And he said, take my hand and put it on your hand. The prophet took, uh, uh, Josh took the prophet's hand and put it on his hand. And he said, shoot an arrow from your window. He shot the arrow from the window and Elisha began to declare. He began to say the, del uh, the, deliver the arrow of deliverance, Makaya Basaya, the arrow of deliverance from the Syrians. As the arrow was being shot from the bow, Elisha is taking the physical. There is a, there is a, re there is a resonance that happens between the physical. It is, there is 
something that happens from the physical, the spiritual is triggered as he's shooting the arrow. Elisha said, that's the, that's the arrow of deliverance. That's the arrow of deliverance against the Syrians, the arrow of deliverance. Ah, So, the spiritual is triggered by some physical actions of faith. I, I don't know if you, you are still with me. There are certain physical acts that we do that trigger the spiritual, that trigger spiritual activities. He's shooting the arrow. He doesn't know that it's not just shooting the arrow. It's an arrow of deliverance in the spirit against the Syrians. And Elisha said to him, shoot on the ground. Jaws shot the first time, shot the second time, shot the third time, shot the fourth time. Actually, he shot three times and they stopped. Elisha was very angry with him. Elisha was angry with him. Elisha got angry. He said, why did you stop on the third? Why did you stop to shoot on the ground? You were supposed to shoot seven times. You were supposed to shoot more than that. Now, because you shot on the ground three times, you shall defeat the Syrians three times. You shall conquer them three times. Do you realize that some physical actions of faith that trigger the realms of the spirit. He was shooting on the ground. He felt like this prophet is playing games with me. He felt like this prophet is playing with my mind. He was told to shoot on the ground. He was supposed to take the arrow, shoot on the ground. As he is shooting on the ground, he does not know that in the realms of the spirit, it is victory over his enemies. <sighs> Holy Ghost. Do not despise this teaching. Build an altar in your house and tell me if you have bad dreams. Establish an altar and tell me if there will be monitoring spirits in your house. If that altar begins to speak, you shall see angels. Angels shall appear. There are physical things we do that trigger spiritual events. There has to be a spiritual point in your house. A spiritual point in your house where you know that if you stand, this will actually change your dimension even of prayer. It will change your dimension of prayer. It will change your perspective of prayer. When you see that altar, even when you are discouraged in prayer, you will know this is a house of prayer. So it is the sacrifices that triggered the dream it is many of you here the dreams you are having are coming from an altar i pray for people men of god i dream this i dream this man of god this dream keeps coming it's the altar of your people that is still speaking in your life that's why the altar is power i don't know it is power to take control of your spiritual life that's why you are dreaming why are you dreaming gods why are you dreaming dogs chasing you why are you dreaming dead people because you are still connected to an altar the altar that has to do with familiar spirits that's why that altar is feeding you with dreams of dead people that's why this altar is feeding you the dreams you are having are coming from that altar this is why i'm saying establish another one that will begin to speak louder and begin to offer sacrifices. Offer sacrifices. Offer. Unless you understand the altars, you can't rise. This world is governed on principle of altars. I receive the gifts. Thank you very much, uh, Vok. This world is ruled by altars. If you see people that are becoming dominant, even in politics, you see those men in suits, don't be deceived. See those men in suits. Don't be deceived when you see them in suits. They are deceiving you. They are not what they are showing you. They are just showing you a classic suits. They've got serious altars, those people. Altars where they go naked. Altars where they go wearing funny things. When you see them now glamorous, appearing with suits, you say, ah, they are smart. They don't play smart behind the scene. You want to rise in power, even in the political sphere. That is not an area to play with. 
That's an area that is full of powers. That is full of powers. Some of them are in the Freemasons. Some of them are in the occultic sect where they require, where they gain power. Power to convince people. Power to control people. You don't just march in that space and say, I want to be a president of a country. Don't just march in there. <laughs> That's a territory of lions. That's a territory of lions. Those people that know what I'm talking about, they can confirm. Can't just walk and say, I want to be president. Many that try to do that. They were taken out. They were taken out. They were eliminated. It's a territory of lions. Territory of vicious lions. You got to have the guards. You have to have something begging you. You have to have an altar that begs you. And that altar has to be an altar indeed. Very strong. And the sacrifices you make, they make sacrifices. That's why even some of them, it's difficult to take them out. Because of the sacrifices they make. Terrible sacrifices. I'm very sorry to say this. Some of them go to levels even of offering human sacrifices in order to maintain their evil power. Why? The devil has not started anything. Let me tell you something. There's nothing that the devil has started. Everything that the devil does is counterfeit. He copies everything. He copies everything. He copies everything from the kingdom of God. And then he does it. He uses it for his own benefit. The devil is not, he does not start anything. Everything he does, he copies it from God. He copy and paste. He copy and paste and just adjust a few things. If you see this evil people understanding altar to that level, they know, the devil knows in the spirit realm. The language of sacrifice is the strongest language. That's why Jesus said to go through the cross. It was painful. He even prayed himself out. You know he prayed himself out. He even prayed himself out. He prayed himself out. But he said, you know what? If I can't pray myself out, unless I go through this, let me do it. Let your will be done. Let your will be done. Let your will be done. Solomon offered a burnt offering. And he had a dream with the Lord asking what do you want me to do your altar life has been so 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 that's why they, they are taking advantage of you because they go to an altar with your name they write your name down they go sacrifice three bulls there you you don't have nothing nothing that's why you say they are tormenting me why is it it's not working you are a child of god why is it you are doing listen to me there is another the area of 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 worship that we have taken lightly. We have ruled it out. They are going to their altars. Now they are, why is it you are being defeated now? Why is it your, 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 their, their power is affecting you? Because they are using altar and you don't want to go to your altar. Your altar is broken. Your altar life is broken. When we're talking about the altar life, we're talking of sacrifice. We're talking of giving, serious giving. This is where you have been losing it. My Jesus. Shaka behind. Oh my Jesus. Let me read something. I don't want to. I want to manage my time. Oh my Jesus. Let me see what I can bring on. First Samuel 7. Oh my Jesus. I wish I could see your comments. But if I do that, I will not focus. Let me focus. By the grace of God, I will try to check a few of your comments. My Jesus. Rakada behind. First Samuel chapter 7. First Samuel chapter 7. Uh, if you are learning, tap on the screen. Mm. First Samuel chapter 7. Uh, verse, verse what? Verse 10. In fact, let's start from verse 7. It says from verse 7. And the Philistines heard that the children of Israel were gathered together to miss the pea. The lords of the Philistines went up against Israel. And when children of Israel heard it, they were afraid of the Philistines. And the children of Israel said to Samuel, Cease not to cry 
unto the Lord our God for us, that he will save us out of the hand of the Philistines. So they are asking a prophet to pray for them. They are saying, don't stop to pray, prophet. Please don't stop to pray for us so that we can be saved from the Philistines. They were afraid of them. So they are asking the prophet to pray, to intercede for them. He said, prophet, please don't stop to pray. We are afraid of these Philistines. Let's hear. And verse 9, Samuel took a suckling lamb and offered it for a burnt offering holy unto the Lord. Samuel cried unto the Lord for Israel, and the Lord heard him. The Lord heard him. And as Samuel was offering up a burnt offering, the Philistines drew near to battle against Israel. But the Lord thundered with a great thunder on that day upon the Philistines and discomfited them, and they were smitten before Israel. Oh my God. Hey, we need time. So the Israelites are afraid of the Philistines. They went to Mississippi. And as they were there at Mississippi, the Philistines began to gather against them, to come and attack them. The Israelites understand the role of a prophet. Any country that despises prophets, that country will suffer. Let us pray for our countries. I'm not talking of fake prophets. I'm talking of genuine prophets. Prophets can save a country. Single-headedly, they can redeem a country from destruction. The whole nation is hanging on this prophet to pray for them. They say, pray for us. The Philistines are coming. We are afraid of them. They ask him, Samuel, pray for us. Don't listen to people that lie and say, you know what? Don't listen to people that tell you, no, 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 why are you just listening? Pray on your own. They tried many people to pray on their own. God even knows very well. Many people will not be able to do that. There has to be a spiritual authority, a, an anointed person, an authority that has to guide you. That you can pray, but there are certain circumstances you need an authority. That's why you need a spiritual father. You need a spiritual person. It's very funny that people have got family doctors, but they don't embrace a family man of God. Where you say, this is our, our, our spiritual doctor. They can have a family doctor. But if you say you need to have a spiritual man in your family, both the family must submit, must have that voice speaking. People will say, no, 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 no. They understand a, 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 a family doctor. They don't understand a family prophet. Got to have a family prophet who come and speak things, declare things. So they are asking Samuel to pray for them. Samuel pray for us. And Samuel is praying. But the Bible says Samuel took a, a whole bent of, uh, offering and he bent it on the altar. He's a prophet. He understands that you don't just pray. You also need to sacrifice. He took a burnt sacrifice. And the Bible says, as he was doing that, the Philistines wanted to do an ambush to come. I'm telling you, don't play with somebody that, don't play with the men of the altar. Don't play with the woman of altar. Don't play. This is why some of your battles, these battles at work, you will not waste time. You will not leave them talk. Go on the altar. You are going to see them one by one being removed from that combat. Go on the altar. A certain lad from Greece. <laughs> this is a testimony. A certain lad from Greece. Right on this channel. I have never seen such a spiritual person. I've never seen such a spiritual person. She approached me after the session. She said, Apostle, I want you to pray for me. I said, I'll pray for you. What can I pray for you? She said, no, Apostle, wait. Let me explain my situation. There is a person that came in my company and occupied my position, and I was removed from that position. And they put someone that has no passion for that job, 
I had, I have passion for that job. They put somebody because that person apparently was related to one of the top rank bosses. So they just put it, they removed it from the place that she wanted to work. And she said, I, I have passion for that place. But they removed me. Help me. I said, I will help you. She said, no, Apostle. That's not how I believe my God. She said, Apostle, that's not how I believe my God. She actually said something. She said, tell me how much it will cost for me to get back my position. I said, no, 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 don't. I don't operate like that. I, I don't operate like that. I, I, I'm not going to tell you. I'm not going to tell you that. I'm not going to charge you for that task. But what I'm going to recommend to you is this. If you feel like you want to offer, if you feel like you want to give a sacrifice to the Lord, ask the Holy Spirit, how much you want to do that? I won't stop you because it's your own dedication. And she decided. She said, I've decided. She sent a paper. I want to show you the power of hope. It is your own initiative. Please get me right. I did not even say anything. It's your own initiative. She said it. I have started to pray. I didn't even pray for a long time. A few times. And she said, I'm sorted. I said, what do you mean? She said, that place is given back to me. I said, just like that. She said, just like that. I have back my position. My position is stand back. That's when I began to realize that this power of altar is serious. I was even trying to stop that lady and say, no, 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 no. I, I, I don't, you are acting as if like I am just ex exchanging. She said, no, that's what I believe. I believe if I want something, I have to come on the altar. Demand, name what I want. Within a few days, she told me that her position is returned. They fight you with altars there at work. Sometimes you just find false accusations coming to you. False accusations. These are the things you handle by the altar. You handle these things through the altar. You don't have to, even when you feel like, mm -hmm, maybe the husband does not believe. How can somebody, that simple, simple person, come and snatch your home for you? Come and snatch your wife. Come and snatch your husband for you. Go on the altar. Go on the altar. Deal with your matter there. I'm telling you, if you fight this way, I, I, I told you that those of you that God is going to give grace to understand this message, you shall come to me and say, men of God, you shall bother me. I won't even ask you for anything. You will bother me yourselves. It is you that will bother me. You will bother me because the blessing that shall begin to come and overflow in your life, chains of poverty shall break. You shall begin to see things happening. Miracles. There are no problems that will stand. They will melt away. As soon as you see a problem, go on the altar. When I say go on the altar, I mean find that seed, find that sacrifice, go and offer. Put it on the altar. Give it to the anointing that you honor. Put it on the altar. Give it to the anointing that you honor. And uh, see if that problem will stand. Ah, Jesus. Alaba, shalaba. The Bible says, Samuel offered a bent offering. And the Philistines wanted to come. And the Bible says, the Lord thundered. Do you realize, don't play with the men of order. Don't play with the woman of order. The Lord thundered for them. Philistines, how dare you want to come and attack people on the altar? You want to attack people on the altar. How dare witches, you want to attack a woman who is on the altar? The Bible says, the Lord thundered. This is one area where God thundered. He, oh my God. Thunder is a sign of anger. Thunder is a sign. It's not a good language. The Lord thundered upon the enemy. May God thunder upon your enemies tonight. 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 In our center of Africa. Tonight. Let there be thunder in the camp of the enemy. Thunder upon the witches and wizards from your village. Thunder upon everyone that has been bewitching your life, that has been holding your destiny. Let there be thunder. May God thunder upon them 
in the name of Jesus. May the Lord thunder, we declare, Jehovah El Gibor, Jehovah Elohim, Jehovah Mikadesh, Jehovah Erek Epain Evarachumin, the God that answered by fire. Ayabasatala Bahai. Mm. He thundered. How dare you want to attack people on the altar? Altar can defend you. Altar can defend you. Altar saved Hezekiah. Hezekiah was about to die. Hezekiah was told, Hezekiah, you are dying today. Put your house in order. You are dying today. The prophet came. Hezekiah turned to the wall and said, Hey, Baba God, stop this. Remember the altar. Remember the altar. He said, remember the altar. He said, remember the good things that I have done. Remember my altar. Check my altar record. Check my altar. Check my altar. And the prophet was told by God, go back, go back, go back. Change your prophets. Prophecies can be changed. Prophecies can be changed. Prophecies can be altered. This is deep stuff for those that are one. After this, you're going to another level. Prophecies can be altered. When you see them saying, hey, she's not going to be married. She's not going to make it. Don't take those words seriously. Some of, don't talk, take those words lightly. Some of those words are said by people that have got demons. Go on the altar. Say, make a sacrifice. If you hear anything bad, take it on the altar. Take it on the altar. Take it on the altar. Set your matters on the altar. Set your matters on the altar. If they are speaking bad about you, don't underestimate words. Go and take every word on the altar. Hezekiah said, I'm not dying. He defeated death by an altar. He said, I'm not dying. He said, I'm not dying. He said, I'm not dying. He postponed death. Postponed it by an altar. He said, remember my altar. And God understood. God understood. He said, look. Understood and left him. He said, go give him back his years. Give him back 15 years. Give him back 15 years. Because altars are causing premature death. Altars are causing some families, they are burying somebody. Do you, what are you telling me? Every October, you know that there's a funeral. Towards Christmas, you know that you have to bury someone. In April, there has to be an accident. Families, they actually have calendars of the marked, death, marked deaths of calamities that has to come. This altar in their family is so, 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 is so consistent. It's an evil altar that is so consistent. It does not compromise. When December comes, they, it, it takes one family member. It's an altar that has established. That does not play. That keeps taking their lives. This is why I'm telling you, you have, you have been taught halfway. You have been taught halfway. There are preachers who will come and rubbish this message. They will tell you, we are under grace. Don't listen to any man who teaches altar. We are under grace. That is why Christians have become, you, you have become powerless. That's why you don't have power. Christians all over have been having a record of being powerless. Other religions have never given up the issue of altar. Muslims don't play with altar. That's why they can even close their shop. They will tell you, I need to close my shop. Even if you have money to buy, they will tell you, come at two. We are closing for prayer. Why? That's altar. They respect the altar of prayer. They can tell you that I will lose that hour. But let me tell you, those shops that even close for some hours make more money than the shops that are ever open. What are you telling me about? What are you talking about? These things are spiritual. These things are spiritual. Christians, if, if look, Christians, you became powerless because you say, we are under grace. We should not sacrifice. We should not do anything. Don't talk about it. Let me tell you something. The first church that came, that church that came was under grace. But the people sacrificed even their fields. They sold their properties, sold their fields, went and put the money on the apostles' feet. 
they went and uh, submitted the money at the apostles feet and that's the time that Anania and Sapphira sold their field also that's the church in grace time in the time of grace we are not talking of the church in the law the church in grace time they went and submitted their money Anania uh, uh, came said is she, he presented the money. The anointing was so, so, so free. The anointing was, was serious. And uh, they put the money at the feet of the apostle, Sheikh Abahai. There has to be a man of God. This is, that is an altar. At the feet. That's a sign of an altar. So now you don't have... There's an, there's a, an, a, the feet of the apostle. They brought their, their, their process. Put it at the feet of the apostle. And Anania and Sapphira, Anania came with money. He sold the field, took another man. Peter said to him, is this all the money that you sold? That was a serious confrontation. The money was even his. The money belonged to Anania. But he's being asked by an apostle, is this all the money that you sold your field? He said, yes, he was lying. He said, why did you lie to the Holy Spirit? He fell down and died. The wife came again, fell and died. I asked God why the anointing was intolerant. It was not tolerating. Those are serious times of altars. God was establishing an altar. That is why the church continued to be there. They had, there was need for people. People sacrificed. It was not time for jokes. And Ania and Sapphira died for the money that was supposed to be theirs. They died. Simply because they lied simply because they did not they were not on they, they, you know, standing in the presence of an apostle at the feet of the apostle many people that come to sow their seeds in my life even in my in my ministry there are times I say put on my feet that is where I will march on your poverty shake up a higher put on my feet because I sit in the back put on my feet so that Ah, oh, Jesus. Kaba, ba, 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 se, de, 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 kaba. Holy Ghost. Ra, kaba, ya. Masa, kaba, ya. I believe I have got my gatekeepers in the comment section. My gatekeepers. I know others will be asking questions. Please address them. My gatekeepers, Mr. Rai, and a lot of people. Mokos and a lot of people um, be my gatekeepers. These are sensitive subjects. So some people may want to write a lot of stuff. Please address them. Address them for me. I may not be having time. Address them for me. I have gatekeepers now. It's coming time that I won't be able even to attend your comments. I will just come and be prophesying, releasing solutions. And my gatekeepers will be attending to the comments. My sister, go. I want you to tell me right now. Go establish altars. Establish altars in your homes. And in this altar, let there be a sacrifice. Appear on the altar, monthly, weekly, whatever you have. Be a pe start being a person of altars. After three months, after six months shall come back to me crying you shall come back to me crying because there will be you will be unstoppable look at what happened when Samuel when Samuel was on the altar and the Philistines are trying to come witchcraft is just coming in your house how can a witch come in your house how can a witch come in your house enter your house open your door they don't even open enter your house Come to your bedroom, climb your bed, sit on your chest. No, 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 even a, a, an amateur witch will come and start to learn to bewitch on you. 
an amateur wizard who will learn to bewitch on your life. This is not going to happen. This is not going to happen on you. No, not you that are hearing me. This is of I put to an end that, to that nonsense. I put an end to that nonsense. From today, you shall be untouchable. I'm telling you, some of you shall tell me testimonies of things that shall try to enter your house. They die. You, you get up, you find an owl dead. You find an animal dead in your compound because of the power that I'm declaring over you. The authority that I'm releasing over your life. You are no longer going to be an easy go. You will not be an easy go from today. I anoint you. I am. I anoint you with a with an with a with a, 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 a consuming fire anointing, a consuming fire anointing. They touch you by mistake, they die by fire. They touch you by mistake, they die by electrocution. They touch you by mistake, they die by electrocution. La copa bosha libaba. Reka papa papa saya. Listen to me. Your name has been easy. The, your name has been on the lips of witches. Your names is on their lips every time. They shall no longer call your name. The moment they want to call your name, their mouth shall go on the side. Laka babo shekebedia. Their mouth shall go on the side. They shall know that you don't play with that girl. You don't play with that woman. Calling your name is a deadly thing to do. Your name shall not be called in the altars of darkness. Your name shall not be called in the coven of witchcraft. Your name shall not be called in the sea, under the sea, where they have their meetings. In the clouds, your name shall not be called. I cover your name with the blood of Jesus. With the blood of Jesus. They were using your name. They were using your name. You know that names have got issues. That's another area. I will teach you about names. Names have got issues. Ah, oh my God. That's why they want to know your name. They want to know your name. In the spirit, names have got significance. In the spirit, names have got significance. I sanctify your name today. I sanctify your name today. Let your name be sanctified. Your name shall not be an easy go. Mababasia. Zotoko bakaya. Ebebebebebesia. Rokotoko bakosaya. Your name shall not be an easy go. Korabasaya. The Bible says, Jabez cried when he realized that there is something about his name. Mababa Sia Dabaya cried and said, God, change my name. Change my name. Change my name. Change my name. Oh my Jesus. Your name is being changed in the realms of the Spirit. Your name is being changed in the realms of the Spirit. Your name is being changed in the realm of the, of the spirit. Your name is being changed in the realm of the spirit. Every time God wanted to do something, he would change their name. He was Abraham because he was an exalted father. But when he was becoming a father of many nations, God says, you shall not be called Abraham. You shall be called Abraham. Makadabaya. You are no longer Simon. Simon means a reed that is tossed to and fro by the wind. A weed reed that is tossed to and fro by the wind. That means you are not stable. Lack of stability. That's Simon. But Jesus one day said, you are Peter. After he had defined, after he had tapped into the realms of the spirit. And he was able to answer the question, who do you say I am? Jesus said, you are Peter, which means rock. Rock, Peter means rock. Stability, from being a reed that is tossed to and fro by the wind, to a rock. Uh, tonight, you are no longer gonna be a crybaby. 
They know you that when they punch you, when they pin, they press you, you cry. You spend the whole night crying. They shall be shocked. You are no longer going to be a cry baby. No more cry. Nobody's going to make you cry. You are going to be a lioness. A lion. You are going to be a lion in the realms of the spirit. You are going to be bold. The Bible says the righteous are as bold as a lion. They are not going to make you cry. They shall try what they, they are trying. They see you standing. You say, I'm standing now. I don't cry. I stand my ground. I know my authority in, the, in Christ. I know what, uh, what is given to me. You are receiving the strength right now. You are becoming solid as a rock. You are no longer being be like a reed. You are like a reed being tossed to and fro. You are no longer going to be a reed. As you are listening to me, there is transfiguration that is taking place. Transfiguration is happening in your life right now. You are being transfigured in the name of Jesus. You are being transfigured right now. The Bible says when he was being transfigured, he, became, he changed his appearance. The full of his cloth became white, such white that you can't describe. He was transfigured in their sight. Transfiguration simply means a dimension of the spiritual. You are, it's just your spiritual nature is revealed. It's just bringing the inside out. The inside out. My Jesus. Transfiguration. You are being changed right now. You are being turned into another woman. You are being turned into another man. By the Holy Ghost. By the Holy Ghost. No more crying. That's true. You will not cry. You will not shed your tears over. People shall not make you cry. No. Don't be a reed. Don't be a reed. They, they laugh in, in their altar when they see you on the mirror crying. They will be laughing. They will not make you cry. They are not going to make you cry. You will cry tears of worship. Sharon, God bless you. God bless all the gifters. You are already starting to build your altar. Kadabashai. Your tears are precious. They are an offering unto God. Your tears are precious. It's an offering. You might not have money, but you have tears. They are offerings. You can't give your tears to the enemy. Every time you're crying, you're shedding tears. Every time you're crying, when they see you happy, they press that button. When they see you happy, they press the remote. Press the remote. They know when they press that remote, you crash. It shall not happen. Hey, Shekabai. I see curses breaking. I see powers of witchcraft falling. Jesus said, I saw the devil. I saw Satan falling like lightning. He's falling in your life. Makaya, whatever they did in your life, when you were young, whatever they did in your life, that spell they casted in your life, it is falling in the name of Jesus. It is falling in the name of Jesus. Whatever they did in your life, it is falling right now. I break witchcraft in the name of Jesus. I break every witchcraft over your life. You powers of witchcraft, you chains of witchcraft upon their lives, your time is expired. Your time is expired. Your time is expired. I command you right now, in the name of Jesus, break your right now. Break in the name of Jesus. Break in the name of Jesus. Loose them in the name of Jesus. Loose them in the name of Jesus. I command them to come out of the prisons of witchcraft, to come out where they have been locked, to come out of the evil bottles. Some of you, they, they, they took a bottle and they put you there and they closed the bottle. That's why your life is not moving. 
I break every demonic bottle. I break every demonic pots right now. Demonic pots where your names are kept. I break every instrument of witchcraft where they have locked your destiny, where they have locked your marriage, where they have locked your life. I break it in the name of Jesus. I declare deliverance right now. I enter right now in the realms of the spirit. I declare thunder and earthquake upon the altars of witchcraft, upon the coffins of witchcraft. I declare, let every evil altar where your name has been called in incantation, where your name has been called in sorcery, in witchcraft, in voodoo, let there be thunder and earthquake. I scatter their altars. Prasalabaya. Prasalabaya. I scatter their altars right now. 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 I deliver you from this bondage. I release you from the prison. I set you free from the curse. In the name of Jesus. Ah, yeah, somebody, somebody, you are already feeling something right now. Deliverance is taking place right now. Oh, Jesus, you are disappearing from their radar. Disappear from the rat of witchcraft. Disappear from their network. Disappear from their website. Disappear from their evil records. You shall never be located. You are disappearing right now. They will look for you, but they will not find you. They will say we searched the house. Even when they approach your house, they shall see the blood of Jesus. They won't locate your house. They shall go back and say that house has disappeared. We can't see it. Every monitoring spirit, you are dying right now. Die by fire. Die by fire in the name of Jesus. Die by fire. Die by fire. Die by fire. Die by fire. You monitoring spirits. Every arrow they have sent it to you. Allow me to do this. Ah, some people are so stubborn and defiant. Allow me to do this. Karabashaya. Allow me to do this. I don't do this all the time, but allow me to do this. I send it back. Kabasaya. I send it back to them. Makayaso. Every arrow the enemy has been throwing into your life. I send it back to them right now. I send it back right now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Makayaso. Oh, Jesus. The trap they have set for you. The pit that they have dug for you. Even the grave that they have dug for you. That grave, let them fall into it in the name of Jesus. They are falling into it. They are falling into it in the name of Jesus. They are falling into it. They have already dug a grave for you. They dig a grave for you. I'm telling you, witchcraft is crazy. If they believe that, they actually use negative faith. They also believe in their negative way. If they want someone to die, they go to an extent of digging a grave in the spirit. They go to dig a grave. Some people that you see right now, their graves have already been dug. Their grave has been opened. That's how they believe. That's how they begin to pray negatively. Because the grave is already there. Your, the grave with somebody's name. Ah, ah, ah. Pia Nama. You are not dying. Whoever has dug a grave for you and they've put your name on the grave, let them fall in that grave in the name of Jesus. Let them fall in that grave. Whoever has set a trap for you, let them fall in that trap in the name of Jesus. The arrow they have thrown to you, back to sender in the name of Jesus. Ah, Shakabaya. Kadabayama. Oh yes, oh yes. We terminate every plan of death against your life. We terminate every plan, every record, every bill of death written and signed, stamped in the spirit. We terminate it in the name of Jesus. Every demon pregnant with destruction, we command you to abort in the name of Jesus. Abort right now. Abort in the name of Jesus. We render powerless every arrow of the enemy. We render powerless 
every weapon of darkness, wherever it is coming from, thank you for the gifts, whether it is coming from the sea, whether it is coming from the mountain, whether it is coming from the depth, in high places, we render it powerless in the name of Jesus. You are not dying. Premature death is cancelled. Premature death is cancelled. You are not going to die. You shall live and declare the good works of God. You shall not die. Aya basaya. Kelebe diado shalaba. Salaba diadaya. Kere barhada. Listen to me. The case is breaking. I see the angels of deliverance touching people right now. I see angels of deliverance touching lives right now, touching families right now. I see angels of deliverance touching lives right now. Destinies are being restored. Lives are being rescued right now. Lives are being rescued. Fortunes are being recovered. Fortunes are being recovered. Hey, Lord. Hey, my Jesus. Arise, O God. Arise, O God. Let the enemy be scattered. Arise, O God. Mighty men of war. Kadabasai. Mighty men of war. Sharon, God bless you. Bessie, God bless you. Mighty men of war. Oh, yes. Arise in, the, in their lives. Let the enemy be scattered. Let those that hate their lives flee before your prayers. Sheba bo salaba, prada da 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 da. Sheka debe debe ya. Ah, my God. Le kaya bahaya. Hmm. Jesus. Take your water right now. Take your water right now. Pa 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 pa. Hey, my God. Paradise. Mm. Power is moving. Power is moving. Power is moving. Power is moving. Adabaya. Power is moving. Power is moving. Power is moving. Take your water. Thank you, Shara, for encouraging this saint to start the altar life. Sow a seed and receive. A blessing. Mm. Higher die. Mm. Take your water. Take your water. Take your water. I'm fasting, not drinking water. That's fine. When you finish that fasting, you will drink it. Finish that fasting, you drink it. In this atmosphere, obey the voice of, of Sharon. This atmosphere, I don't need to tell you what to do. By now you have grown. You know. By now you know what you ought to do in that atmosphere. Such an atmosphere. Refer to what Sharon is telling you. Oh, lift your water. Fa Father, I pray. Masadabo. That water, let it become consuming fire. That water, let it become consuming fire against witchcraft, against evil altars, against curses, against evil covenants, against the spiritual husbands, spiritual wives, against the witches and wizards. Let it become consuming fire, the fire that destroys, the fire that destroys in the name of Jesus. Oh, Jesus, let it break cases. Let it break covenants. Let it break cases. Let it break chains. Break chains. Break chains. Break cases in the name of Jesus. Let it break cases. Let it break cases. In the name of Jesus. Let it break chains. Let it remove misfortunes. Let it remove misfortunes. Let it remove sorrow. Let it remove rejection. Let it remove delay. Let it remove stagnation, limitation. Let it bring abundance, 
favor and abundance. Let it bring favor and abundance. Financial breakthrough. Instant miracles. Jobs. Tenders. Contracts. Business breakthroughs. In the name of Jesus. Shekaya Bahaya. Receive the anointing. Water. Receive the anointing. Receive the power of God. Become a medium of God's power. Kadabaya. My God. My God. My God. My God. You are no longer carrying water. You are no longer carrying water. You are carrying the power. I, I don't know. I wish you could prove it. There is somebody close to you that has a problem. Just a little sprinkle on that person. If somebody is sick right now, a little sprinkle, you are going to, they will tell you. The pain is gone instantly. Others, they will begin to manifest screaming from that water. It is no longer water. Thank you, Shara. I hope you. My Jesus. Thank you. Mm. Oh, my Jesus. I think today the revelation is enough for you. I may not have time to go through. Thank you, Sharon. Look at that exhortation. In this atmosphere, I refer you to what Sharon is saying. That's what I refer you to. In this atmosphere, my God. Let me invite those that want to one on one go to my inbox. You are here for the first time. Go to my inbox. If you are here for the first time, follow my profile. You also want to be in touch. You also want to visit the ministry tomorrow I'm having guests some of the people that are from the online church here coming in my service they want to see me face to face you can see me if you want to arrange to visit you can arrange you can arrange you can arrange you can arrange in this atmosphere for anyone who is led to sow a seed in the kingdom and sow a seed, feel free to conduct a poster. Thank you, Mr. Ryan. I did not tell them this. They are moved. The power of God in the place is moving them. God is telling them to say so. What would they gain if I just tell them and say, look, do what you are being instructed. God is going to bless you. God is going to bless you. So go to my inbox. Don't go to my inbox right now. Go to my inbox and we are going to talk. Uh, unfortunately, I may not be able to go through your comments because time is fast spent. But I believe the great comments that are here, I believe you are blessed. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Just trying to have a glimpse. It is done. I'll see you tomorrow in the morning encounter. I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you for the likes. 32.7. Oh my God. 32.7. You're amazing. You're amazing. You're amazing. You're amazing. You're amazing. Ah, oh, Jesus. Let me make this last prayer. It's not for deliverance. It's for breakthrough. Father, bless these people for their loyalty for their patience 
for their zeal for God, sitting under the word. Bless them now with money. Bless them with opportunities. I know they have a heart for the kingdom of God. I know they have a heart to support him in the work of God. May you bless them. Fill their houses. May they never lack any good thing. Bless their children. Bless everything that is connected to them. May they never be rejected. May they never be disappointed. May they never struggle and suffer. May they never cry again. Have mercy on them. Remember them today. Remember them today. They are your people. I bring them before you. Even as Samuel prayed for the Israelites, I pray for these that you have brought to me. Not by might, nor by power, by your spirit. You brought them to me. I have taught them the counsel of God. And I will continue to do so. Lord, may you bless them. Bless them for me. Bless them. Bless them. May you deliver them from different diverse kinds of situations. May you put a smile. May you put laughter in their mouth. Lord, I am asking you to do these things even now. I'm asking you to do these things even now. I'm asking for instant response. Instant touch over their lives. Some of them shall be great people. Millionaires, billionaires, kingdom finances. The gospel shall never struggle because you have raised them. You are anointing them. You are entrusting them with resources. I command supernatural transfer of wealth. I command supernatural transfer of wealth from the wicked to their hands. Let wealth be transferred from the hands of the wicked to their, to their hands. Lord, do not allow the wicked to devour wealth. Transfer wealth to these your people. I declare supernatural transfer of wealth. Supernatural transfer of wealth. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Receive it now. Receive supernatural transfer of wealth. Don't be surprised if you buy that house half price. Don't be surprised if a car shall be given to you for no price. Don't be surprised if you are going to have things that you have not bought. Don't be surprised if it shall be given to you. Supernatural transfer of wealth. Jesus mighty name. Receive it now. Receive it now. In the name of Jesus. It is yours. Take it. It is yours. Jesus name. I can't wait for your testimony. I can't wait to hear your testimony. I have to go. Time is fast spent. I love you so much. May God keep you for me. I'll see you in the morning encounter. Mm. If God give me strength, you'll see me uh, in the morning. God give me strength, you see me in the morning. If you don't see me in the morning, you will see me after hours when we come back from the church. So God bless you. Follow the advice of Sharon and Mr. Rai. I love you. We love you. We're praying for you. Your servant in the Lord, Apostle El Ganga. Shalom.